Uh, hello, everybody. I'm going to talk about uh, Blue, BluePad. BluePad is a remote control for Linux. Oh, I correct for GNU Linux. Lucky me, Mr. Stallman is not in the uh, audience. Uh, so, uh, BluePad. Uh, is it? No. BluePad is better. Is <laughs> don't work. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, the idea behind BluePad. Uh, BluePad has created in a ubiquitous computing course at the University of Évora in Portugal. We had to make um, a client-server application. The server, the client, the, the client side must be a cell phone, and um, the phone and the computer must c communicate in some ways. Uh, the server part must be a web service, so database or anything, but uh, this must uh, communicate with the cell phone. We have some curiosity about the Bluetooth technology. Along came the idea of transform a cell phone in a um, remote controller. The idea came up in this explanation in Evra, Portugal. Uh, later, we have the idea of extended our previous idea of controlling uh, games too, not just applications, but games too. So anyone can use a pocket gamepad and have FTs in everywhere. Um, we uh, go further and extend what is the pros and the contra of our idea. So it makes your cell phone more, more venu valuable, of course. You have a pocket gamepad there and a, a remote controller. Um, you don't have to buy a controller. controller the controllers existing in the, ma the market are very limited to Windows. I don't know if any, anyone have one that works well in Linux. I, I, I don't know. And this is very useful for keynotes, but also for home users. And you are at home, you can control your favorite media player application, a movie, a music, anything. The cons, of course, uh, they promote the gain of weight because you don't need to get out of your sofa to press the computer keys. <laughs> this, <laughs> I think, is the, the only con. So, you, we don't, n ah, just a note, when I say we, I'm talking about the other creating of Bluepad, my friend Juki Rocha. Um, the state of art, we don't know if exists any application like that in, in the, the moment we, we have the idea. We go to, to the internet and make some search, and, you f and we find some applications. They are very hard to configure and install, um, are available only for a small number of devices. Um, lots of them are only available for the devices, or the device, the mobile device of the creator of the application. They are not so useful, and they control only a certain number of applications. So is really too useful to control only M player? I think no. I, I like Totten, for example, or Amarok. Um, is, is, it, is it productive to, every time you want to change uh, application, you go to your computing and change the key there? But no. I think it's better we control everything. Of course, I, I can't control my favorite application. I am sad with that. But we think the good approach is control everything. If, of course, if I control everything, I have freedom to choose my applications. I am happy with that. So our development approach. In the beginning, we have only these three main profiles, presentations, music and movies, and games. And later, we create the mouse profile to control the, the mouse. Uh, if we want to control ev all applications. We have to control the application on focus. You don't. We don't uh, have to to send some some sort of configuration for say, for say this is Amarok. Please dial Amarok uh, plus anything. You control the application on focus. Is it? And BluePad should be easy to install and use, and should have a high portability. So some technical details. 
Um, this is the diary. First, you, we create a connection between the cell phone and the computer. Then the cell phone sends some key codes to the computer, and the computer emulates the key codes by the um, U-input kernel uh, driver. Uh, we use Bluetooth, of course. Uh, we use the, this protocol, L2CAP protocol. Uh, we have to choose between L2CAP and RF, RFCOM. RFCOM is equivalent to TCP uh, in computer networks. Uh, when you lose a packet, the connection goes down. This L2CAP protocol um, has segmentation and reassembly of the package, so if you lose package, it's not, it's not a problem. You can go there and lose the connection and write in go here now and the connection is up. We think this is the better choice. I, I don't know this. Uh, we, when we start uh, developing Bluepad, we don't know anything about Bluetooth. Only the way it works, no, nothing more. Some, some technical device about the, the server application. Uh, we made Bluepad with Python. We choose Python because it has a powerful API and you can write applications with uh, a few lines of code and this uh, increase our, our um, productivity and, um, uh, and uh, y we develop uh, Bluepad in only four weeks, development and, and testing. Without Python, I think this is not possible for us. Uh, we use Glade to, ma to make the user interface in the PC part, and we follow the GNOME guidelines. We use PyGTK to add actions to the, to the Glade, uh, Glade interface. You, we use PyBlueZ to mm, control the BlueZ stack, the, the Bluetooth stack of Linux. is a wrapper for the BlueZ stack. Uh, we use PyNotify to display uh, the little buttons, balloons, the little balloons, uh, that you see, for example, a network manager or in um, uh, Ubuntu updates. And we use the U input driver to inject the data into the kernel. This driver is are made to, um, to make drivers for controlling, for example, joysticks, game pads, things like this, like this, and is, is able to inject directly da data into the kernel. And this, if you send a key code there, this data reacts on the Windows on Focus. Uh, in the cell phone part, we choose to develop Bluepad with uh, Java for Mobiles because it, it had uh, uh, wide portability, lots of mobiles have Java. And we made, uh, we don't like too much the internalization uh, system that uh, came with uh, Java for Mobiles. We made uh, a system from scratch. This system caused problems, we, 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 um, we discover it later, because the Symbian, mo uh, Symbian device like Series, uh, Series 60 don't uh, have uh, very good support for UTF encoding. If, if you load uh, a file in uh, UTF with uh, Symbian OS, uh, the phone give an exception, it don't work. Um, because of that, Bluepad don't run in the series 16 in the standard version. We have a version without um, uh, other language than, than English um, for, for these devices. We follow the approach of every keys are configured in the phone because if you switch application or you need to, um, to set a, a new key, you don't need to go to your laptop or, or your PC to configure them. And we have, a, we think, is clear and simple interface in the phone. This is the main windows of choosing profiles, the four profiles. And uh, here is when uh, the choose device option to um, discover your laptop or PC. This is an example of uh, the music movie profiles. That icons are from the Tango project. They are open source too but not made by us. And this is um, uh, a wheel interface to choose the keys to, to attribute to the, to the actions of the phone or the PC. 
this is very very quick very fast to to you um, set the key because this is a, like a wheel you scroll down and they are fast and you can quickly set the key if you want um, so a word to the community Bluepad is a very very new project we uploaded to search for in August um, we received lots of feedback lots of mails sa saying that Bluepad don't work <laughs> or so, so things like that and many future requests some of these are um, very mad other are good um, now we have Bluepad translation uh, translated in that language uh, Dutch and Polish in progress we need translators testers we need lots of testers because they have uh, lots of phones there lots of uh, um, uh, phones uh, screens different front phone screens we need more ideas and this number is out of date and now is something like 8,000 of downloads anybody in the room test out blue pad no <laughs> you can test it and send me an email telling that blue pad sucks or don't work or or uh, don't fit on your mobile screen because this is a, a, a very uh, is a big problem you have lots of screens and the 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 branding don't respect the um, the specification of java machine they quick um, they take out uh, features of the the java machine for uh, for uh, i don't know maybe for <laughs> for <laughs> gain money or uh, or just for make the java machine more uh, more likely i don't know and y if you have a specification that must be run every run everywhere java is it run everywhere you write the code and this run everywhere but if the 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 brands take out features you don't you don't be able to to develop uh, a thing that run everywhere in uh, all phones and we need testers for this that say to us that uh, the blue pad don't fit on the screens or don't run because of some kind of exceptions some phones don't have uh, frame pointer support for example okay I, s I think it's, it's good uh, sorry about my <laughs> English is not too good but if you don't understand anything you can talk here or make a question I I hope you gonna try out blue pad and send me some emails you are uh, are open to participate to send patches translation anything you you wish thank you